first at 10, a devastating discovery in Flint. Stockpiles of bottled water forgotten. The couple who stumbled upon this wants to know how these donations could go to such waste. The mystery was found near the old St. Agnes Church off Pearson Road. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live with the alarming find. Brian. Carolyn, Dave, the find also sad for the, those that discovered the stockpiles inside this abandoned school. There's rooms upon rooms in this building of nothing but full rooms of cases of water, gallons of water. Jimmy Collin and his fiance Kira discovered these images this past weekend inside an abandoned school building on the grounds of the shuttered St. Agnes Church. Dozens of cases, dozens of gallons of full water just rotten here. First couple rooms were empty and then we heard water running so we ventured towards the water running, found the basement, found one room stockpiled full of water. It was from floor to ceiling, wall to wall. The two made the stockpile discovery while urban exploring, saying they enjoy seeing and taking pictures of the forgotten buildings in Flint. We take photos and leave footprints. We don't, we don't vandalize. If anybody's wondering where the, all the money and all the water for the Flint distribution went, it's all just sitting in abandoned buildings by the stockpiles. What they found, they say, feels like a slap in the face. Roughly four years removed from the start of the Flint water crisis, its impact still evident. I don't drink faucet water. It kills the plants. It makes them yellow and it bleaches them, yeah. dries them out. If it's doing that to plants, then I'm afraid of what it'd do to me. So how did the water get here and who's responsible? Social media posts from January of 2016 show a donation delivery campaign by two radio stations right in front of the now empty school. This is the number for the listed property owner. The number you have reached has been disconnected. And a door knock at the church came up empty. The city says it has nothing to do with the water and never used the site. Regardless, many in Flint still desperate. Probably. 30 people since I made the post yesterday at 6 messaging me asking me where the water is so they can go get some. I've had to tell them they do not want it. They're probably just as well off drinking the faucet water. Sitting where it is, it's in a stagnant area. It's pretty moldy and nasty in there with the fecal matter and all the other molds. Now we did reach out to that Grand Rapids based radio station that donated the water bottles to see who they worked with when delivering it here. And we have yet to hear back from an organizer reporting live in Flint tonight. Brian Abel, 7 Action News.